Hello YouTube channel. How are you family? Well today I got a special treat for you. Uh, I, I walked through this park. Look how great this park is. Every day to get some exercise and I passed this one fence area that I always think like god that is a great built fence and I'm like someday I'm going to remember to bring my camera and actually uh, take a picture of the fence and why it's so great. So today's that day uh, and here it is coming up. What I, what I can see we can do with this fence is like a barnyard fence right around your barn to uh, have really high-end secure um, fencing for all types of animals because I know when you're starting a homestead you don't know what kind of animals you're actually going to get, whether you know it's cows or goats or sheep or chicken or pigs or whatever. So you really, especially around your barn itself, you really have to be able to build a fence that will incorporate all those things. And so I love this fence uh, for that reason. And not to mention, it's in a county park here in Florida and uh, the fence, the park department spent plenty of money on building a quality fence. So today we're going to look at why I love this for barnyard fencing and how it's put together so that you could duplicate this uh, at will. So here we are. Let's take a look. So what I really love about this is this, you know, this area right here. It's probably you know, two inches, but, and it's painted, it's painted uh, steel fencing that gets sandwiched top and bottom between two by sixes. So it gets sandwiched right between there, uh, top and bottom. And every, everywhere you look, they sandwich it with a two by six. The top here gets these big carriage bolts through the two by sixes on the back side. So let's take a look at those. So there's the two by sixes right there. And you can see the carriage bolt. So that's what really makes it extraordinarily strong. And then the two by sixes are sandwiched together with gigantic lag screws. So about every, I don't know, about every foot to 18 inches, they put a lag screw that comes through. It doesn't come through the other side, but it just, they put it on the back side, I guess, so aesthetically you don't see that. The only thing that's on the front side is the carriage bolts that go through the two by six uprights. So, and then one other thing about that is they they use two by six actual two two by six for that uh, upright and that is just really well done and they taper the outside of the two by six as so it doesn't collect water so everything they thought about on this fence is built for longevity because obviously the county doesn't want to have to build this again in another 20 years one of the cool things about this is the uh, the top plate, because they know that's what accumulates water and will rot the fastest. Uh, the top plate is vinyl planking. So I was looking at that going, wow, what a great idea. Such a simple design. Just one upright sandwiched on the steel with one 2x6 on top, one 2x6 on the bottom. And six by six post on the back side with vinyl planking on top. This thing will probably, well, it's definitely gonna live longer than I am at 55 years old. What a well done fence. And the one other thing that I thought about on this fencing is um, when we're training our animals to electric fencing is that we could put like at seven inches, we could put, um, you know, a, a tensile wire, 12 inches, 18 inches, 
four foot, uh, put it on the inside of our barnyard fencing. Because because one of the things that happens is that when the animal bumps into it, they get shocked, obviously. But then they want to run straight forward. So, But they're not going through that. <laughs> so barnyard uh, fencing around our barn is a great place to train our animals to electric fencing. Uh, it's close to your barn. You can spend a little extra money on this fencing. But when you really think about it, you guys, this would be way cheaper than board fencing. For, for board fencing which can be very expensive because this is only a two by six on top, a two by six on the bottom, and uh, like cattle type fencing, two inch cattle type fencing, which would be good for everything, for you know rabbits and chickens and uh, sheep and goats and you know, you name it, cattle, everything. That will keep everything in. And when they're getting, when all those different animals, pigs and all that get trained on electric fencing, you can then let them out of your barn yard fencing and uh, put them out into your regular electric fencing without any worries or concerns. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I know that I'm going to be building this type of fencing around the barn only. Uh, build this really amazingly 50 year fencing around the barn inexpensively to train for uh, electric fencing. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, then on the rest of your barn, we can go inexpensively just with, you know, two or three wire or four wire, depending on what kind of animals you're keeping, you know, the electric fence is keeping in. But right around the fence, you can sit on top of this. It will last for a long, long time. You build it once, build it right, and be done with it. Hope, I hope that you guys love this YouTube, uh, video on barnyard fencing and please subscribe we are on a challenge to get 1,000 subscribers by December 15th uh, because we don't get paid a penny for all these videos and the you know, hundreds of man hours it takes to record it edit it and uh, I don't know if you know but for like a 10 minute video it takes about two hours of footage and about five hours of editing to make a 10 minute video so we're investing enormous amount of man hours and creating content that we know that fellow farmers and YouTube family members would want to see. So please just click uh, click subscribe now. Uh, like this video. If you like this video, like it and comment on it. What do you love about it? What could be done better? Oh, I just want to see, show you this. On every one of the joints, they bevel it with like a router so that I guess water retention doesn't happen and if it heats and swells or contracts and you know expands that this beveled uh, routered edge will contract and expand without cracking wood just everything they did was great and on this on this section they put two carriage bolts through the two by six and on the back side everywhere they just did lag bolts. Okay, so as I say, subscribe now, please. <laughs> Help us get to our 1,000 challenge by December 15th. And I promise you, we will make some great content. We have made great content. We'll continue to make great content. Everything outdoors. 4x4s, pickup trucks, tractors, brush hogs, dump trailers, ATVs, uh, grass-fed beef, pasture chicken, pasture pork, you name it, we're, we'll do it. If it's outdoors, we're doing it. Okay, family, thank you so much. More to come. See you later.